guys, welcome back to Berenice's Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to compare rational numbers. So in our previous video, we said that rational numbers are just numbers that can be simply put into fractions. So they include integers and also decimals that can repeat or terminate. So first to start off with integers, which are rational numbers. So in integers, we know they are positive or negative numbers, and we often use a number line to put um, to determine what, whether the integer is great, greater or larger. So in order to compare integers, we can use a number line. So we know that 0 is also an integer, even though it is not positive or negative. So let's go ahead and label our number line. So we have 0 in the middle. This is kind of like the boundary between the positives and the negatives. So to the right side of our number line, we have all of the positive numbers. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Now notice that I am not putting a plus sign in front of these, which is the symbol for positive numbers. And the reason I'm not doing that is because you don't really need to do it, but just so that you know you can put it if you want, if it helps you. But remember, to the right side is going to be the positive numbers. And then to the left side, we have our negative numbers. So we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and negative 7. So these are our negative numbers. So this is our right side. And then this is the left side. Okay, so now that we have our number line labeled and we know where the positives and negatives are, let's go ahead and compare these integers. So we know that when we're comparing, we use the three symbols we have greater than, less than, or equal to. So let's do an example. Let's say that we have the integers negative, okay, okay so we have negative 3, and we're comparing that to positive 4. Now, Remember this um, trick. The farther the number is to the right side of the number line, so to the right side of the zero, the greater its value. The farther it is to the left side of the number line, or the number zero, the less its value. So in positives, we know that nine would be greater than the number one because it is farther to the right. However, in negatives, negative one is actually greater than negative seven because negative seven is farther to the left side of the number line, so it is smaller in value. So negative seven is less than negative one. So now if we apply that same logic to this problem here, we see that negative three and positive four. So we have negative three over here, and then we have positive 4 over here. Positive 4 is to the right side of the number line, and then negative 3 is to the left side of the number line. If it's to the right side, that means it is greater in value. That, that tells us that 4 is actually greater than negative 3, or negative 3 is less than the number 4. So that is how you compare integers. So now that we've done integers, let's go ahead and do another example. So we also know that rational numbers include decimals. And also, we know that decimals can be made into simple fractions, just as integers can. So let's see that we have the decimal number 0.6666. This is a repeating decimal, so it can also be written as 0.6 with a small line on top to show it is a repeating decimal. Now let's see that we are comparing 0.666, or let me actually rewrite that as 0.6 with a small dash, so we know it's a repeating decimal, and then we're comparing that to the fraction one third. Both of these are rational numbers. So in order to compare this, the first thing that you need to keep in mind is that rational numbers can be put into fractions. So 0.666, if we put this into a fraction, it is the same thing as two thirds, because if we do the division, 2 divided by 3, if we put a decimal point, add a 0, and then it keeps on going and we will get 0.666. So here, as you can see, if you do it, if you put a decimal point, 3 times 6 is 18, and then do it again, do it again, you keep on going forever. It's for infinity because it's a repeating decimal. So this shows that 2 thirds is equal to 0.666 or 0.6 and then repeat it, okay? So if we have 2 thirds here and then we have 1 thirds over here, we automatically know that 2 thirds is greater than 1 thirds, therefore we will have a greater sign here. Or we could also say that 1 thirds is less than 2 thirds. 
So one third is less than two thirds. So there's different ways that you can put this. So this is how you compare rational numbers. So remember, if you uh, if you have a decimal on one side and a fraction on the other, you can always change the a decimal into a fraction, or you could also change the fraction into a decimal. But I think fractions are kind of easier to compare, especially if they have the same denominator. Okay, so that's all we have. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.